Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Jen with Happy Humble Home, and today is Friday, so that means it's time for our weekly update. But as always, before we jump into that, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and then ring that bell so that way you can be notified of all the videos that get here uploaded on Happy Humble Home. All right, now let's get my screen. All right, hey guys, so right now I'm going to be making some elderberry tincture. And let's get this all set up here. I'm going to be using the dried elderberries, the organic dried elderberries from Farmhouse Teas. I mentioned them before in another video, so you can go back and check out that video as well. So everyone seems to be getting really sick around us, so we're just going to go ahead and start making up some more elderberry tincture. And I usually do about one ounce of dried herbs to about the five ounces of vodka, so that's why I'm using my scale here to measure everything out. All right, guys, so we're just using 40 proof, sorry, 80 proof vodka here, which is 40% alcohol. So you can also use um, the 100 proof, which is 50% alcohol, but I just use this kind for all my tinctures and it's worked so far. So we're just gonna pour in our five ounces of vodka here, and then I'll put the lid on it, give it a good shake, and kind of get it all, make sure all my bears are good and covered. And then I'm just going to put it in a dark corner cabinet for about six weeks or so, and I'll give it a shake every now and then. And then once our six weeks is there, I will um, just go ahead and strain out the actual berries and then pour it over into an amber jar to keep for my family. Alright, so it is now deer season, which means it's colder in the morning, so here's some thick hunting pants that the boys have. And in order to try to get several seasons, uh, or many years, out of these pants, we always, um, their clothes are always a little bit bigger, their camo clothes. So that way, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a hem that we can let out as they grow, so we can use it for many seasons to go. Okay, so these are the eggs that I have been doing with the egg experiment. I wanted to show y'all how these other two eggs looked. They cracked just fine and I fried them up and they tasted great. So, All right. Hey guys, so first and foremost, sorry I did not get a video up last week. We ended up going out of town for hunting and I just didn't get a video up. That's just, it's just what it is. But thankfully it was a successful weekend because my husband was able to put India on the ground. So we do already have that deer from this season already. And I finally, it is not another tooth now because now they think that I messed up because I'm happy. And I may order one and I've done jerky. But like rolling it out and cutting it and it's much easier with a jerky bone. So I had one that was delivered this week, but it was messed up and I couldn't use it. So I'm like, I'm just going to put my hands on that one. But when I do that, we'll definitely make up some jerky together. It's been going well. I said kind of changing it up a little bit with hunting season. And then um, we do have the holidays coming up as well. So we'll have Thanksgiving next week. So we'll have some more energy next week as well. Because we do take a couple days off for Thanksgiving. So you know, it is that time. So I'm really happy about that. I will not be posting a video next Friday just because, again, it's a holiday weekend. We'll be out of town and just focusing on my family. And as you can see, I made up some more tinctures. That tincture, the elderberry one, that's just having extra. I already have one extra in there, so that'll give me two extra. Just in this sit next to the season. And hopefully all of y'all are doing well and haven't had too bad. Be lucky to go this sitting season. So I do have my yarrow tincture that should be done probably next week, I think, will be six weeks. Because I usually set my tinct set my tincture set a minimum of four weeks. I always try to get six weeks out of them if I can. 
and usually that's that's always the case unless I just made it last minute. So um, all of our plants are pretty much my basil. I'm keeping a regular for sure have died off. I was able to go ahead and harvest some more peppermint, lemon balm, some calendula flowers. Um, this past week that I have hanging up to dry, the garlic and tomatoes or not tomatoes, garlic and onions are still doing really well. I really thought they was gonna kind of go ahead and die off a little bit more because we've had several nights of frost and just kind of colder days and colder temps. But they're still looking pretty green and healthy, so we'll just kind of hopefully that's gonna be a good sign for them in the springtime. That's what I'm hoping. So we'll see. Um that's pretty much been about it. Oh, as y'all seen the little egg clip video, those that those eggs, like I mentioned before, were from the egg experiment that I've kind of been keeping y'all updated on. So whenever I do try to use one, like in that case, I was using those to cook that morning. So I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all kind of how the eggs are looking at this process at this point. You know, it's been not quite four months, about three and a half months probably right now roughly. You know, get those eggs and they're still working out good. I've also, that, um, that's really about it. Like I said, don't expect a video next week. Sorry, I didn't get one up there before. Yeah. And if you have not checked out my latest video, though, I did post the video of the food processor versus the coffee grinder on Wheat Berries. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave the little link up there. So make sure that you check that video out. And as always, if y'all have any questions, be sure to let me know.